and this happens. Exciting. He really did it. The runner slapped the reporters behind. You can see the shocked look on her face. It's very exciting. Um, people, um, you know, you, you, you're in disbelief. Yeah. You, you feel like did, did that really just happen? Um, so took some time to process. Costumes for this bridge run. Um, so it's very exciting. I, I would say that the reason why, you know, maybe it caught so much fire is because, um, the emotion is extremely relatable for women all over the world. I did not see her facial reaction um, as I just kept on running. All right, let me state for the record, this guy. As we roll the video once more, someone please explain to me how the assaulter identified as Tommy Callaway, as he identifies his target, opens his mouth real wide, looks down, staring at a reporter's ass, and turns his wrist to perform the act of slapping a butt, was trying to wave at the camera, holler at me. In an interview with Inside Edition, 43-year-old Tommy Calloway says he was trying to wave at the camera and he got caught up in the moment. There was a misjudge in character and decision-making. Um, I touched her back. I did not know exactly where I touched her. Oh, this poor guy can't even get his story straight for the cameras. Tough And if I did see her facial reaction, I would have been embarrassed, I'd have been felt ashamed, and I would have stopped, turned around, and went back and apologized to her. He is deflecting, and while we are taking this in every day with the impeachment hearings, let me bring to your attention, Tommy Callaway is a youth group leader at his church, Pittman Park UMC, as well as a Boy Scout leader. His lawyer, Joseph Turner, called him a loving husband and father who was very active in his community and local church. One of my favorite defenses, cross it off on non-apology bingo. Remember, allegedly, Antonio Brown sexually assaulted a woman? What I want to emphasize is that Antonio takes these allegations very seriously. He is a loving father of five children, including a daughter. I myself am a father, uh, and I have two children, two daughters that I love very much along with my wife. I wouldn't be doing this interview if I didn't believe Antonio. As SI's Charlotte Wilder tweeted, if you're a man intending to use the father of daughters excuse to defend defending another man, save it. Congrats on having kids. It says absolutely nothing about your moral character. I'm a, I'm a daughter of a father, you know? I have plenty right. of male friends. Bozargian said he helped himself to a part of my body. She added, saying it left her in disbelief and inundated with some female guilt because of some of the harsh online comments suggesting she was at fault. It's not okay to help yourself to a woman's body just because you feel like it. It's not playful. He hurt me both physically and emotionally, Bozargian said. I think what is most important here is he took my power, and I'm trying to take that back, she said. Savannah Police spokesperson Katura Green told The Post that they are aware of the incident and have spoken to Bozargian. Green told NBC News, we've talked to her about the situation, I can't discuss it further, but it's up to Alexandria on how she wants to handle the situation. Callaway has been banned for life by the Savannah Sports Council. According to his LinkedIn profile, Callaway has been a scout leader for Boy Scouts of America since 1987.